guys, allow me to reintroduce myself, honey, because this girl is not just Chichi Yakubu. The title has changed. All righty, are you ready for this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your guess is right as mine. This is Twin Mom. This is Ntafo Mommy. This is Hanji Anye. Mm-hmm. It's me. Yami so be here, dear. Ha! I thank you, Nim Shi Obeka. This is my bad tree. I'm an Eric girl. Allow me to express myself. I'm so excited, can you tell? So, my bed story didn't go as imagined, guys. I planned I was going to have a makeup on. Yes, I'm extra like that because from the very onset, I knew I was going to have a CS because I was carrying multiples and also I've had too many issues trying to carry babies for full time. So, we were going for CS. So see, yes, I mean, I can plan now. It's not like I'm in the house and then your water broke kind of story. No, 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 no. I was going to go for a date. I knew it would be this time and hour and what have you. So girl was going to have a full eyebrow, very detailed makeup, <laughs> liner, I'm winging and all. <laughs> I'm blushing, highlight, contours, everything popping. But hmm, your baby said never, not today. You gonna slay on our day. We need to slay, not you. So they had their own plans, and it was God's plan as well. So, as much as it wasn't what I wanted it to be, I thank God for it all because they are here, they are thriving, and doing better than us imagined. Because we we had the hospital to check Kolebu on standby. Probably we end up at Niku, yes, because they didn't know if they'll come and. They will do without Nico and all of that. So all these plans won't stand by as in an ambulance and what have you. But Zach and Zara said, never. Ha! We go where? Different room without our mama? No, it ain't happening. We are going to share the same word with Mama Chi. And the did. I thank God every day for actually bringing these babies my way. And the story not going according to my plan, but this plan just to, you know, show how amazing and how wonderful God is. And he, he makes the impossible possible because it could have been something else. But you know, this my God is a show of God. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. He showed up big time with Aziz. So it was around 10, about 10 in the morning. I went with my mom to the hospital, a normal routine. You guys already know this. And boom, they said this baby's yeah, getting them out today, now, this very minute. I'm like, no way. There's no way I'm having a baby without Farouk being here. Like, we've prayed and waited this long for this experience. He needs to be right here in the theater room with me. He needs to usher these babies in. Like, no. The doctor was like, you know what? This girl is such a diva. I'm giving you an hour. <laughs> Find your husband. Let him get here within an hour, and then we go. After an hour, if it's not here, I'm sorry. We need to do what we got to do. The Z's matter most, and they are our priorities. It's not about who is coming, who is not. It's the Z's. Formula One, it paid off. This man has been playing this game. Bang, bang, speeding, speeding, speeding. I don't know how he got there, but 30 minutes sharp, he got there. And this was about 22 kilometers drive. I just don't want to, you know, talk about my hostel where I be- give birth and all of that. I don't want that publicity. <laughs> it's not necessary. But he made a 22 kilometer drive. And he got there, right there, right on time. And he had the experience, always prayed to, you know, go through with me, be there for me. I mean, wrap my head. <laughs> and he just, I mean, all that they do, all those fancy stuff they do. But he ain't that cute, honey. He ain't that cute. But it was really fast. Yes, it's very fast. It's so fast. I really wish I recorded when the split me open. Farouk was like, Chichi, I saw your inside, your stomach, the fats, the layers, everything. They just had it hooked like this. Like this. They hooked your stomach and, you know, spread it apart so they can have their way. Ha! Ah, like, is, is it me that they are just treating like a pork? Ha! Ah, chai! So far, I was the one who saw everything. And he's still like, Traumatized. He has lots of respect for women. It's like, this is not a joke. This thing, mm-mm. Can you open like that? So the babies came, and Zach, that boy, that career, 
my baby Zachariah. God remembers. That's the full name, Zachariah. He's Zachariah. So for short, Zach. Zach went like, he just took his breath. So we didn't have to go to Nico. Because Zach was uh, uh, worrying. But he was so tiny. He was a 1.4 baby. So, so small. His mouth couldn't even grab my nipple. That's how small he was. They took, us to, they took me to the ward, and then they brought him, him and Zara later. Zara was 2.1, fairly normal size, but not like a full-term baby. You know, babies come even up to 3.5 and all of that. But Zara was 2.1, and Zach was 1.4. Their color was a bit, like, dark. They were dark. They were dark and so tiny, and you could count their, Zach, you could count his ribs. Uh, it was so sad. He was. He looked so fragile. Like, you know how you, they lift baby uh, babies up that way. You literally have to show them. Like, you have to. Uh, oh, he was so fragile, so small, bony, wrinkled. He he. He looked like a. He, he was like, oh my baby. Why? You know, I, I always thought, oh, you, they will come and I want to, like, splash their selfies everywhere. It, I've never shared their picture of their, like, the newborn photos with anyone, apart from my very, very intimate circle. There's a handful of people, about 10 people tops, because they were so small and wrinkled, I didn't want to show their bad angle. <laughs> this is an Instagram mom talking. But now more than ever, I want to share because so that people see the goodness of the Lord. People see how much God has done for us, how much God has done for these babies, what they were when they were newly born and what they are today. Like, it hasn't even, you wouldn't even understand. They are nothing like, they, look, they are nothing like what they look like when they came because Zach was like, I was watched this movie, Benjamin Button. If you have watched it, you understand. You know, Benjamin Button was born old and wrinkled. Yeah, my crew, they're up to date. It's one of my all-time favorite movies, the classic. And he, as he was growing, he was getting younger. I don't know how to... So he was born like an old man, a very, very old, fragile old man, very wrinkled, gray. And as he was, as the years went by, we... He, he grew into a fine, young man, and then into a baby. Yes. So it was like the reverse. So Zach was like old, wrinkled, and all of that. And look at Zach today. Have you seen this boy's cheeks? Oh my God, my show boy. <laughs> this boy, he's got an attitude of his own. Ha, we call him Chemanu. Chemanu. Ah, mm. That boy, that boy, now to my baby Zara. Zara came with a smile. Zara, Zara, her eyes just lit up. She had these beautiful eyes. Even though I knew this is not what she will look like, but I just saw this charm in her eyes. You could tell this is a beautiful child. You, you just could tell. I will share her. When I give birth to them, I'll share the photos as well. And so that you can see what I'm talking about, you see the difference. You see what God has done with these babies. We were in the hospital for a week, and they were just picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up. For a whole month, we were feeding them through a syringe because they were that tiny. So I will pump through the milk in the syringe. And if they even take 10 ml of breast milk, this as we'll be jumping and clapping and dancing. That's Zach, especially. Zara, she loves her food. This girl, hmm, 80, 90. At the time that Zach was doing 10, 15. Zach was doing 80, 90. Every time, triple, triple, triple. Even in the size to date. Zach, Zara is three kilos bigger than Zara at 13 months. Yes, Zara is 13 kilos. Zach is nine. Yeah. The girl can eat, she took after her mother. We love our food. We appreciate 
good food. I mean, want the chef to feel good, want the cook to know that you've done something right. We can't make you feel bad. You need to have your play bag empty. Mm -hmm. That's Zara. But Zach, the boy, this boy, I love this boy. I now understand this boy mom, boy mom craze, cause I'm a boy mom. And Zara and the dad, inseparable duo. Those two, ha. I just thank God, look, I don't know how, what I feel inside him. An overflow of, uh, like some sugar, <laughs> sugar fountain. Damn, I'm too happy to, to be a mother. And not just a mother too. I mean, look at, look at Zach and Zara. This show of God. I say, like, I'm, 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 I'm just grateful to God, and I thank my daughters, my nurses, they were handsome, Auntie Caroline, oh God, Sister Rose, Dr. Ellis, Dr. Mignan, oh God, Auntie Comfort, you guys, oh, I mean, Shiramo, I thank you all so much. And a special shout out to Sister Edith. Um, and I had the premies, you know. I had shopped for these babies. I had shopped. I was ready because I was expecting a full time baby. So I bought newborn stuff, newborn diaper. And they won't fit because 1.4, even a newborn diaper was swallowed Zach. It was sad. When you wrap this guy in a diaper, right, and you look at his thighs. It was this small. I was like, what? Now we need a diapers that will fit him because there's too much space and you can't even see the body. His diaper is all the way up and it's nibble at the time. You know when they cut the cord and all of that, there is this thing that secures till it dries and goes off. So a diaper doesn't have to come all the way up there, but the diaper can, it's like an overall. They ask him cry me more, but it's not saying me are real, me show more. At the time now, they're like, ah, 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 nah. But Aunt Edith, they came through, supported us with some creamy diapers that was perfect for them. Got us some kangaroo wraps. Because when they are small like that, they need the warmth of their parents. So we wrapped them up kangaroo style. And I thank everyone, the Codex, Talata, because the first few days, my breast milk wasn't coming. She sent things my way, things to boost my breast milk, sent me food for them. Oh, like I had, I had such a strong support. My in-laws, oh goodness. See, my ward was, I would say the notorious ward because even when visiting time is over, there's someone there to visit and they won't listen to, it's over. Ha! One after the other. My sisters-in-law, my mother's, my mother-in-law, my aunties-in-law, you name it, everyone. My friends who will send people because it was COVID, so I won't let my friends come apart from family, but they'll send things. Drivers will be at the parking lot. We have to drop this for Chichi, the flowers, the balloons. Like, everybody was just so happy that these babies are here, and they didn't care however way they came, they just said, you know what, we'll nurture them with love and they'll grow beautifully every day. And it's true. Today I look at them and I'm filled with so much joy and I thank God for even how it went. Because it wasn't about me. God just wanted to um, prove a point. Prove a point that when, when, when he says it's time, Nothing, nothing can stop God when he says this is the time. Absolutely nothing can stop him. It could have been anything, it could have ended up at Niku, but God said no. Zach could have, but God said no. God said no. And I just thank God for my birth story, even though it's not with the full makeup, with the wing, with the eyebrow, with all of that, <laughs> with my flowers right next to me. I'm just grateful for it all. I'm just grateful for it all. And I thank you guys all for your support, your prayers, your well wishes. 
my DM is like I, I've built a community around my story and a uh, lot of women have opened up with me they've shared their own stories and those that are battling with this thing called fertility oh goodness I send you love and light I pray that whatever that you want your deepest heart desires God will grant it but as you're waiting please don't stop dancing, okay? Find a purpose, find something you love. Don't, just, just, just live and don't forget to count the many things in your life that are amazing. The many things in your life that you might take for granted for now. Please look back and count your blessings. Name them one by one. You know, carrying a baby to full time. You know, having your beautiful baby. You know, having your rainbow baby now doesn't mean that it's the end. No. Please live while you wait. Live. Okay? I love you so much. My game is always open. If you have any questions you want to talk to, even my doctor, the specialist that took care of me and all of that, I'm ready to share those details privately to people. So reach out to your sister because you know what? I've walked through those shoes and I understand how you feel and your feelings are valid. God bless you.